Well, hey, howdy. Welcome to the shop. Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. It's a beautiful sunny day here today in the Ozarks, and we're getting ready to do some work on the trailer. I need to hook up the brake lines. Got those in yesterday. Uh, one thing I did forget to do, or almost forgot to do, is I got to put the cotter pins in the castle nuts to hold the hub on. But I'm running into a small, small snafu that's going to require a little bit of lathe work, so let me show you what's going on here. The depth of the hub from the back to the front is bigger than the old ones. So when I tighten up the castle nut here, in there, the cotter pin will not go in the hole. Now I don't lack much room, probably not even a sixteenth of an inch, maybe just about a sixteenth of an inch. And uh, you can see that the, when I slide the cotter pin into the hole, come on, get in there. I'm not touching the I'm not touching the hub there. I'm off a little bit. So I need the back of the slots on the castle nuts here to be that far out, but they're they're sticking out just a little bit farther than that. When I tighten them up, just cannot quite get the cotter pin in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the nuts in the lathe chuck them up in the three jaw chuck and just machine off a little bit off the back side of the nut and I don't, since I don't have to take much I'm not too worried about weakening the nut there I know the better way would be to make these slots in the castle nut deeper but that's going to take too long and I don't have a milling machine to do that so I'm just going to let mill off some of the back of the nut here to uh, make them work and fit and like I said I don't have to take off very much so uh, let's go into the lathe and uh, see what we can get accomplished. Okay, I've got the three jaw chuck already put on. And uh, let's get one of these nuts chucked up in there and see what it's going to look like. Hard part on this is going to be making sure that I'm keeping this good and square. The nut back side of the nut square that I don't have one side sticking out farther than the other. It sure is feeling like it's going to go crooked. Yeah, that's looking crooked. Best thing would be to just stick my indicator on here and indicate it in square. And, but uh, since these nuts don't really bite down hard on that, I mean, when you put a wheel hub nut on, you tighten it in there, then you take it off about a half a turn and then turn it in by hand about, well, until it just touches. And that's when you adjust it to the, loosen it or loosen it preferably so the cotter pin will go in. The, uh, the idea is not to lock it down to put a put a bind on your bearing so that the hub turns tightly. You want it to turn freely and spin freely. So if I'm not perfectly square, I don't think it's going to be the end of the world. It's really just to keep everything from moving out. That looks pretty close right there.
Yeah, you can change the rolling metal over so it'll start nicely. Shifting gears here, we're going to do some wall layout. I've uh, decided to move the brake system, the actuator, the, the pressure tank, and all that stuff. So I think I'm going to put it right inside the wall here. There's a nice hole right here in the, in the steel framing. I'll just run that pipe right down through there and underneath. So let's do some wall layout here and see what we need material-wise.
Well, guys, here's the end of the day, Sunday. I'm, uh, I'm calling it a day. We got to go do a little visiting tonight, the wife and I. So I got this front wall framed up. I jumped ahead because as I broke out all the parts for the brake system, the brake lines, I decided to move the, the hydraulic tank and, and pressure unit. And that's what this here is. That's, that's this box here is the hydraulic unit. And that's where I'm going to put it. This is the feed hose. It's going to go down underneath the trailer. There was already a hole in the framing down here. And when I got to looking at all the parts, all the brake line parts that came with it, uh, most of them preformed, hard piping, um, already flared on the end. I just decided to, to move this up here to better utilize that piping and this hole underneath. I'm not going to climb under and show you, but underneath there's a couple of holes in the framing that will lead me right back to the axles. So I don't have to drill any holes for running the piping from here. Originally, I intended to put it right here on top of the wheel well inside the trailer, but I think that's going to be better up there. And then I think what I'll do is right in this area right here, or maybe up a little higher, I'll put the uh, little 12-volt distribution panel coming off of the pickup. Since this trailer is so wide, I have to have extra lights on it. So I'll just use a little distribution panel where the power comes in from the truck and then distributes out to all the lights. Not a breaker box per se, but more like a boat, a marine-type distribution panel with bus bars for each different wire whether it be the uh, the brake lights or just the, the running lights or whatever anyway we're uh, still not back on track but looks like something with this wall framed in hopefully this week I'll get the the brake lines installed I won't be screwing that down yet until I get the framing done and there's going to be another layer of flooring that goes on top of the pressure treated plywood here that will get the finish floor on top of that then I'll put the unit down but that'll be inside of a cabinet. There's going to be a cabinet. Let me step up in the trailer here. If you're looking at this wall, there's going to be a cabinet right along here where the uh, wash station is, hand wash, and the three sink, three compartment sinks are going to be. So that'll be down out of sight inside a cabinet. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Click like if you like. Click like, don't like if you don't like it. But please do subscribe. I do appreciate those of you who subscribe to the channel. So until next time, have a good day. Bye-bye.